hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our zombie ai so for the zombie ai i have used the characters which are available on mixemo.com if you go ahead to the mixemo.com and sign in then click on characters then search for zombie and in here you will find the zombies character okay you can download these zombies characters from here and also if you then click on animations right here you will see this animation pack not so scary zombie pack and then the scary zombie pack okay i have downloaded these two packs as well okay so you can download it from miximo.com if you want to use some other characters and also i will be providing this zombies unity package so go ahead and download this it will be available in dot winrar format so just extract it and then it will give you this unity package then simply double click on it and it will show this window so what we're gonna do we will simply click on import and when you do that it will give you this zombies folder right here as you can see in which we have these four zombie characters and also i have these animators already created as you can see and we have the textures for the zombies and then the animations as well as you can see and if you notice the animation rig is generic and avatar definition is no avatar and the same for the character as well generic and no avatar okay so you can just leave this as it is now if we select any animation for example this one log the inspector now if you get back to zombie and drag and drop this one as you can see it is playing this animation in all of the zombies as you can see okay so make sure that you do the same setting for your zombies and animations as well if you download it from mixima.com now once we have the characters now what we will do We will click on the zombies folder again and right here let's drag and drop our zombie character okay like this so this is the zombie character what we can do now is simply click on prefab unpack completely let's name this as zombie one and in order to move this zombie around in the environment we will be using the nav mesh agent so for adding the nav mesh agent inside our project click on windows then package manager and in here if you select unity registry from the packages and right here search for ai okay it will give you this ai navigation package so just simply install it and when it is installed now we will be able to use the nav mesh agent on our zombie character as you can see but now the next thing is to first of all add the navigation window right here so if we click on windows ai let's click on this navigation okay it will give you this window just simply drag and drop it in there okay after this click on windows again and add this other window which is navigation obsolete click on it and when this is open let's click on bake turn on the gizmos from here okay and now if we move a little bit up like this okay and let's go ahead and click on bake it will now take some minutes okay as you can see this whole area is baked okay so now on this blue area the zombie can walk okay but if you notice not the whole ground is packed okay so what we can do is we can remove this grass from here okay because of this grass the area is not fully packed okay so if we select this whole weed okay so if you search for meat let's select all of it and delete it that's it okay now if we 
click on bake again now as you can see the whole area is bake okay so now the zombie will simply walk in all of this area okay so now once all of this area is bake what we're gonna do now is click on inspector again click on zombie and on the zombie let's add the nav mesh agent okay this is the nav mesh agent for the zombie so now from the next video we will start working on our zombie ai script but before ending this video let's go ahead and add a capsule collider to our zombie okay so you can see the capsule collider is in there so what we can do is we can make the y1 and then the radius to 0 0.3 and make the height 2 so now as you can see it is fully covering the zombie body alright so with the capsule collider and the nav mesh agent added now let's end this video right here